What's going on everybody, Dylan here and I have a tech review for you guys today over the important camera stabilizer for DSLR cameras. I purchased the 60 centimeter, I think it's 24 inch uh, carbon filter stabilizer. I think the other one is, there's a 40 centimeter one and that's for smaller cameras like the Canon G7X, stuff like that. And um, I'm pretty much going to unbox this for you guys. Camera stabilizers can be a little tricky getting the balancing right, and this is my first one, so I'm sure through trial and error I'll get it figured out. I think uh, just for everyone, all cameras are different, so you're just going to have to kind of play around with it and see how well it works, and then hopefully I get some test footage for you guys. And if you're new to cameras and camera parts like that, a stabilizer is pretty much going to take walking out of the equation. So it'll make it more like it's gliding rather than if you're walking with your camera and you're seeing the steps and everything like that. And this one right here ran me about $99 on Amazon. I did get the free shipping, one day shipping, which was pretty cool with that. It's about $10, $20 more than the uh, newer brands on Amazon. Newer is a camera stabilizer brand who makes all kinds of different stabilizers. But uh, this one just seems a little bit more well built. It has a little bit better reviews. And so I just wanted to get something uh, that I know will last me a little bit longer. And hopefully you guys will enjoy the rest of this review video. Alright, so let's get this open and see what's inside. Not a lot in here. It comes with the carrying bag, which is pretty nice. It's a pretty big bag, but that's convenient. I don't think all of the stabilizers come with a carrying case, so that's nice. Then it looks like we have the actual piece in here. Here it is. Let that carbon fiber right there very nice very clean and smooth has the weights already on it all the weights look like they're already loaded up so I might have to take some of those off and then looks like the handles right here it looks like it's just kind of there we go nice grip on the handle that's pretty comfortable and this is the quick release plate so I believe this part just comes right off, just like that. So that way you can mount it to a uh, tripod or something like that. Overall, it seems pretty well built, pretty sturdy and metal. So that's pretty cool. Comes with a big cloth, I guess, if you want to clean it. A little microfiber cloth. And then it has all the instructions right here. All the pieces that it comes with, how to adjust it. All the little features. And then I think that's about it. That looks like all there is in there. Let's see, let's get this off. All right, that's everything that came in my package. So. I guess the next step is going to be trying to put this camera on here and I'll probably have to film with my iPhone while I get that done and I start trying to get this whole rig balanced up. Alright, I had to widen my shot a little bit in order to show you guys how I'm going to stabilize this. Uh, but anyway, so all, you, all I did so far was I screwed my DSLR camera and I put my little nifty 50 lens on there so it's a little bit lighter weight. And if you can see, it's right in the middle right there, set the zero. This is a quick release plate, so if I want, what I can do is just take this off of the stabilizer, put it right on my tripod, and it should work pretty well. It should just screw right on. So anyways, here's my stabilizer. It has all the weights on it, everything like that. And what I'm going to do is just pop this right on there try to zoom up so I can show you guys. There's a little arrow marker here, so I'm going to set it to zero, so it's neutral, and there's a there's a little uh, tightener screw right here on the back part, so 
I'm gonna tighten it on there right at zero. All right, there. Now my camera's not going anywhere. It's staying on there pretty well. And now we can actually get to the balancing part. What what the goal is for balancing is that you want to drop your weight, and you want to you want it to take about two to three seconds to hit the middle. So one, pretty much doing it at one right now. So this little knob down here is going to extend the weights, give you a little bit more leverage. We'll go ahead and start with full uh, leverage right there. So I'm going to drop it one. That's still too heavy. Maybe I have too much weight at the bottom. I think that might be what it is. So I'm going to take off two of these tiny weights on each side. One, two. Okay, so I think I'm getting there. One, two. Not all the way balanced, but we're getting a lot closer. So it took a little longer than I thought and after a lot of trial and error I finally got this down. What I learned is that it's very specific to the very tiniest changes like literally like just the ever so slightest movements and your adjustments. So on this when you move this right here it's gonna allow you to move your plate left and right which is gonna make it stop tilting left and right when it moves. You can also use this or the little plate adjuster underneath to slide your camera back and forth to make it not lean forward or lean back too much. So right now I think I have it at a pretty stable position on its own. And then down here you have a little bit more leverage. You can extend this arm out right here. And then for my Canon 70D with the 50 millimeter lens, I found that just one of the medium sized plates on each side uh, work best and I put those kind of in the center right here some people put them more out on the ends I might try that later but this is my first time playing around with it so I'm just gonna leave it like that because it seems like I have it stabilized pretty well so this is it seems like it's staying put pretty good and then when you walk around with it, you don't want to have a firm grip on it like this because then that kind of takes the point of the stabilizer away. So what you're going to want to do is just put like one or two fingers on it and then just kind of like tap to rotate as you need because this will spin quite freely like this. So just ever so slightest little taps to adjust your, your camera angle. Just keep up with it. And instead of having your arm back here, keep your arm more out to the side. It's going to help cancel out some of those steps and holding it for so long eventually your arm will get tired I think and all this probably weighs anywhere between like five and eight pounds so not too bad for like medium to short uh, films but if you're holding this all day your arm might get a little tired but overall really cool and I think I'm gonna go try to go get some test footage now with it and see how well it works <laughs> So I'm just going to go ahead and film real quick while 
see what it's still in the car. I think overall it did really well. I put a little bit of footage in there to compare when I'm not using it compared to when I'm using it. And I think just by looking at the screen right here, I think that I saw a pretty big difference just um, in the shakiness alone. And this is my first time using it, so it might not be balanced 100% correct. Uh, and I might not have my technique down walking with it 100% right because you know, you're supposed to like bend your knees Keep your arm exactly at 90 degrees and I try to do that But when you're looking at what you're filming and you're trying to watch over not stepping on stuff or tripping over everything Kind of lots of multitask and get the hang of so I'm sure that the more that I use this and everyone says the more that you use it um, The better you get at it the better you balance it the smoother it looks like it's gliding I'll keep you guys updated on how much I'm liking it and stuff, but so far, first impressions, well worth the money, looks great, it looks like a great build quality. This is the M. Borden 60 centimeter, 24 inch stabilizer. Just using one weight on the bottom for each side worked great for my 70D, and um, I hope that this helped out some of you who are deciding to get a stabilizer or anything like that. I don't have any other stabilizers to compare this to, but I'm pretty freaking happy with this one.